this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Tonight I'm going to show you a design that I'm going to be doing that resembles, at least to me it does, a dandelion that's already gone past the yellow stage and into the white. And I'm going to do that by using my Wicker White Folk Art Enamel with a special top that I have on top to actually do line work with. The stem is going to be Citrus Green and Thicket. Citrus Green is Folk Art, the multi-surface paint, and the, the Thicket is the Folk Art Enamels. The brush I'll be using to do the stem with is the 3 8 Glass Art by Dynasty number 71. Love these brushes when you're doing, uh, when you want good coverage doing like one color or if you're mixing colors together as far as like maybe I'll do a green, a light green, a dark green and you know kind of combine them. Now I've already cleaned the glass and very important that you clean your glasses before you actually start painting on them and unfortunately this paint for some reason coming out of this I don't know the white is very hard so I'm going to do the best I can trying to squeeze it out here. I just don't have a whole lot of hand strength. But I'm going to do the best I can. So I'm doing lines just kind of randomly. Bringing them down. And just, like I said, it's not a thick dandelion by any means. But I think it's cute. You could do this in any color really. I just chose to go ahead and do it in the, the white since that's what I'm trying to mirror. But if you wanted to do it in gold or yellow, I mean, it doesn't matter. And you can make them wavy or you can make them straight. They can cross over if you want them to, but I'm just keeping them separated. I think it's a fun glass. I just love painted glass. I like coming up with the different designs for you all. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, if you're new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell. That's a notification bell that will let you know if I post something new. If you like this video when it's done, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. I would appreciate it. That helps me grow my channel so I can continue to bring, bring designs to you, whether it's on glass or paper, whatnot, it doesn't matter. Um, I will be doing a bunch of different things throughout the year. I'm trying to get on a schedule that I can say, hey, I'm going to be posting at this time of day, every Tuesday, or whatnot. Still working on that. My life does not really allow me a lot of consistency right now, but I'm trying. Again, this is you know, just an easy design. Anybody can do it. I'm not trying to make my designs difficult where it's nice to watch somebody do them, but there's no way I could ever mimic it or even come close. I don't, I don't want to do that. I want people to be able to, to paint them. So if you look down in there, doesn't that look neat? Again, just very simple. Nothing earth shaking. But you could see where it would be fun to drink from this or be fun for you know, your, your guests when they come over. Now on the stem, I'm going to be rotating. I'm just coming right up where these little white part of the, the dandelion meet the stem. I'm just kind of coming up. If I grab some of the white, that's fine. I'm just going around and putting both of the colors of green on here and just intermixing them. You can see how I don't know what it is, if it's the softness of the brush, because I paint on glass with 
even the regular one stroke brushes so I'm not a, a big one in saying you have to have specific brushes maybe you really should but I think you can be successful with your designs regardless but I do really like when I'm doing you know, not doing a one stroke design I'm just painting a design and then I can do it with this brush and it does give good coverage. Like I said, I'm just putting a little bit of the dark, a little bit of the light, just kind of mixing it up a little bit. Give it some interest so it's not all one color. But you can see it's pretty. Very pretty. Like I said, if you have any comments down below, please let me know if you like this. Please say yes down in the comments. Have you ever painted a design like this? If you have, let me know down below. Like I said, and you can see a little bit of each color in the stem. And like I said, I just kind of went up right underneath there. And there you go. Pretty easy, right? There you go, cute little glass. Like I said, not, not difficult, very easy. A beginner could definitely do this, but it's still very pretty, I think. Do you think it's pretty? Give me a yes down below if you do. Before you go, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell to get the notifications. Give me a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Until the next video, I will see you then. Have a good one.